Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Rats. Today we're checking out a new vid from the Ink Tank about giving more of the classic aliens ultimate forms, part 3. Let's hop in and see which alien gets a new ultimate. <laughs> Always Good evening, in Internet World the Age Universe. This is O.R. Ash, and welcome back to the Drawing Matrix. We didn't forget about this here. series, I promise. We are back once again to <laughs> continue our Smith. Ultimates Overhauled series. Last time, we finished off the original series' OG-10 transformations, so today, we're working our way down the list with the original series add-ons. Oh, yeah. Now, I've already done a redesign for Cannonbolt in the first video of this series, so no roly-poly panda boy today. But if you a do want to see that, you should panda? definitely check out our previous episodes. Hmm. Got a whole little oh, playlist I mean, for them and everything. That's right. Anyway, for today's episode, finally. we'll be covering Wild Vine, Ditto, Upchuck, Eye Guy, and Way Big. Oh, Let's roll up okay. our sleeves nice. and get to work. Groot, get a clue, dude. I'm a vine. <laughs> First nah. up on the chopping block, we have the sap spitting son of a sprig, Wildvine. Ooh, 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 Looking nice back insults. at the series to research for this video, <laughs> Wildvine doesn't seem like he was utilized very well. Most of the time, he's mm. mainly used to traverse easily up structures or just throw off his seed bombs. But Brilliant. anatomically speaking, his design seems like it can be used in a much more effective way. We see examples mm. of this usefulness more so from the Florana that kidnap Gwen, that with their uh, closable yes, head cover and that. sleek root anatomy, these guys are a great ambush predators. Being able to travel around well, stealthily so underground and even manipulate remember. plants at their roots, these guys are designed really well to be predators. But that actually made me struggle mm. a bit with coming up with an idea for his ultimate, trying to find a way to approve upon this already pretty great power set. So I thought this instead of trying to difficult. approve upon it, why don't I just try to do something different for fun? Regular Wildvine is based off of a Venus flytrap, so what True. other carnivorous plants could I use for a design? I the ended up taking plant? inspiration from two different carnivorous plants, the Cape Sundew and Pitcher Plants. Hey. I actually tried to come up with a Pitcher Plant subspecies for Wildvine back whenever Ooh, I first I joined the Ink Tank, cool. so here's another recycled idea no, returning from that. the grave. Like now, the Cape Sundew work by curling themselves up when they sense something is on them, and Think Pitcher like Plants hat. lure prey inside of them and swallow them whole, dissolving Literally them in a throat. sort of stomach acid. What I imagine for this ultimate is that he is now a sort of invasive territorial predator. He no longer hides underground like to ambush, idea. but instead posts himself up on his roots that are sunk deep into the ground. He uses a mix nice. of his roots and acidic bile to terraform the surrounding area into his hunting ground. And just to add some more dangerous plant stuff to him, he also now has spines covered in a paralytic poison, making gobbling <laughs> up victims much easier. Also, with his new heavy pitcher <laughs> body, can he can fully retreat inside of it for defense. And just for fun, since it replaces his head cover anyway, he can also open the pitcher up into a giant giant acidic maw. Nice. So, to recap, his new abilities include acidic bile he can spray from various parts of his body, paralyzing toxic spites, no and bombs. his new tough pitcher plant body. As far as trade-offs, he no longer has seed bombs and pretty much loses all of his stealthiness. So, oh, yeah, no I more mean, camouflage. But with that, may I present my ultimate wild mine, Root Hack. Ultimate Wild Vine! Oh, man, that looks good. The winners and steel champions! Next oh, up, add. We're back with the multiplier of the original, Ditto. We have the dude that divides dubiously, Ditto. Despite the small amount of screen time he has throughout the franchise, I love this Animaniac with an Omnitrix. With how simple oh, yeah, his right. power set is, is I really could have taken in cool. any direction <laughs> for his ultimate. But I decided, I decided I wanted, I wanted to, to lean more, more into the cartoony aspect of the Splix and Species. Ooh. When duplicating, they do a kind of like mitosis stretch out of each other, kind of like <laughs> Osmosis Jones That's looking. Cool. And I thought it would be cool if for his ultimate, he could intentionally squash and stretch his clones into various sizes, shapes, and viscosities. Ooh. You know, like how cartoons can squash and stretch. Those little sensor <laughs> knobs he had before have turned into turnable dials on his forearms and head that he can use to manipulate the aspects of the clones okay, he produces. Yes. Think like the customization slider for a character <laughs> creator in a video game. Making them bigger, smaller, lanky, tanky. He's able to make them whatever shape he wants. He can even alter okay, an already made cool. clone by turning their dials. The clones themselves can even alter their own bodies by turning the dials themselves. The limit that I want to nice. put on this 
guy will be that the base ditto, like the first one that the clones come off of, he cannot transform himself, and that the clones mm. he produces cannot clone themselves. Design-wise for his okay. base form, there isn't a lot of change. So that actually makes some sense. He can duplicate, they can't. They can uh, stretch and move, he can't. That's a, that's a pretty good balance, I gotta say. I made from regular Ditto. I thought visually the most notable thing for this ultimate would be the shape and size changing of the clones. So for the Definitely. base, I kind of drew a little bit of a blank. I did give him a third eye to be more expressive and gave his body these markings all around it to imply that hmm. his flesh was like twisted and shifted slightly, which sounds gross, Maybe. but I think it's pretty cool. So to recap, his only new ability is that he has anatomical alteration. As far as his trade-offs, oh, he no longer cool. has the connection sensors that the original has. I wanted it to be a little bit more difficult for them to communicate, so it's more of a limit oh, on looks like the He also now has limited ditto. duplication. I would say Ultimate Ditto would be able to make, like, three really big clones. That's the equivalent of making, like, nine regular clones. So, oh. without further ado, may I present my Ultimate Ditto, Squash and Stretch. Ultimate Ditto! 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 <laughs> Love it! Love it! Exploding loogies! I've got a uh, chuck power! Upchuck! For our next course, we are serving up Upchuck. Another one of my favorite oh, what, aliens. No Upchuck is Come not on, only man. one of Ben's strongest <laughs> aliens, but also one of the most adorable in the most disgusting way. The Gorban species it can eat really planets, cute. withstand exploding star levels of energy, and survive in the vacuum of space. Yeah, These guys that. are already at an evolutionary peak. You don't need to go any further. But let's make some ultimates anyway. Mm. I wanted to play off of the original series interpretation Maybe of his design, where he's a lot more out? gooey and amoeba-like. Keeping in the mindset of amoebas and cell cellular creatures, I wanted to base him off of a tardigrade. They both have the pudgy oh, body framing, and they're okay. both bears. Tardigrades are called water bears, and Upchuck is just a little gastro gummy bear. Not as much as this! <laughs> As far as his abilities, nice. I wondered what a good reason for giving him multiple limbs would be, though. What if when he mm. eats enough, he does a kind of pseudo-mitosis thing and grows a whole new section of body with arms, getting longer and larger oh. the more he eats, like that old phone game Snake. I yes. imagine that they evolved yes. in this way so that rather than needing dozens of Gormand, a singular one could devour an entire planet, wrapping its body around it as it eats until nothing is left. Yes. So, to recap, that as far as his cool. new abilities, he now has mitosis bodily stacking, he has increased <laughs> size because he's a big old jelly boy, and quick regeneration. As far as trade-offs, technically because he hmm. only has arms, I got rid of his legs. Also, I took away yeah, the barf bombs just because I feel like with this, he crawls around like a centipede and just kind of like uses the acid spit to melt and, and scoop things into his mouth. He doesn't mm -hmm. really do the bleh anymore, if Damn. that makes sense. Uh, so, without side. further ado, up may I introduce up my up ultimate upchuck, Ouroboros. Okay, I still like it. Next up, we have Upchuck. Again. Oh. Another reason Upchuck is one of my favorite aliens Omnibus is because one. he's the first ever to have more one than one form the in the Omnitrix. It was yep, so see, cool to see two. them take something as simple as a joke about design differences from one series to another and turn it into a species lore concept where there yep. are two races of them that exist. So with the last ultimate, I already converted the perk design. Too. Now it's on to the Merc. His design is a lot more lizard dinosaur-y looking, so I wanted like it to tub. seem like one of those giant monsters that would stomp around eating buildings and shit. To help convey that we are increasing that. his bodily size about 20 times and giving him rough spiny scales that can crash through structures reducing okay. them to bits in a single swing you know those weird bumps Upchuck has on the back of his head? Rob like refers to them up. as neck nipples. Upchuck has always had these weird, say. like, little growths on the back of his head. His neck nipples, right? God, I hate that. I hate that <laughs> so much. What I don't hell? like the thought that they're nipples, because imagine someone trying to milk a Gorman. Oh, yeah. Oh, imagine. no. Stop. <laughs> no. Don't imagine it. They've always seemed kind of pointless. Like, there's no reason they're on Upchuck's head. So, I'm going to be turning them into explosive eat-seeking missiles. And yes, I said eat seeking to help with his destructive diet. Lastly, okay. I want to make eating mass idea. amounts of stuff a lot easier for him. So I wanted to give him vortex breath so that he's able to suck up all the debris from his destruction in oh, like one fatal swoop. 
So, to recap, his new abilities nice. include Eat-Seeking Missiles, Mass Size and Strength Increase, and Tough Spiny Scales. As far as his trade-offs, nice. he no longer has Barf Bombs, you know, it's missiles, so it's fine. Yeah. And he no longer has tongues. He has the Vortex Breath now, so the tongues oh. aren't really needed. <laughs> Other than that, may I present my second ultimate upchuck? Godzilla. <laughs> I love this. We got another ad. Hold on, folks. Hey. We're back with what seems to be another upchuck from what it says down here. Hey, you know what they say. Third time's the charm, right? <laughs> Maybe. Look, I think Upchuck is cool as fuck, and I kept getting ideas, so we're doing another one. We're doing okay, another okay, Upchuck. Okay. Now, for this ultimate, I'm we basing it more choice. so in the lore of the Goreman's abilities. Explained in the Omniverse episode Tummy Trouble, the stomachs of all oh. Goremans are connected to a shared gastro pocket dimension. And that got me thinking with portals. What if instead of bum, barf bum. bombs, Upchuck <laughs> could chuck up puke portals? These portals would be connected to mm -hmm. the gastro dimension and allow for travel from either one portal to another or to Upchuck's weird stomach mouth thing that I'm giving him. Upchuck could I'm eat listening. something with his paunch and it come flying out of Whoa, a portal he puked hell? up a few minutes ago. Or vice versa, it goes in the portal, comes out the paunch. This one is meant to feel more Ooh. like a convergent design between both races of Gorman. So I pulled in elements from both. He's a bit lizardy, but he's still got some jelly bits in there, you know? So to recap, hmm. as far as his new abilities, he has puke portals and Let's say his body is stretchy so that he can make okay. bigger and smaller portals need be. As far as trade-offs, I would say he no longer has acidic spit because living things may be going through the portals and that would yeah, hurt them. Also, he then. technically loses his mouth because he gets his paunch, which is just like this big old stretchy gooey patch on the front of his body. Without further ado, let me present my third ultimate upchuck design, Regurgigate. Now that's oh, random. Who's running, Metal Mouth? Here we go. Bring it on! I got it. I hope you're excited, because next up we're looking at I Guy. I Guy has always been a hmm. pretty strange alien. He can shoot lasers, fire, and ice out of various eyeballs wait, all wait, over his body. He's ice? also constantly making eye huh. puns, and to top it off, he shows that. up out of fucking nowhere in the show. He Something I wanted to do like, for sure was round off his abilities. To me at least, it's always felt like he just has too many things going on. So instead of all of the elemental eye stuff, he now can only manipulate psionic energy. The reasoning okay. for psionic energy specifically is that one, I wanted to base him off of a beholder from D&D. &D. Two, I thought him being mm, able bad. to levitate and remote control his eyes would be a pretty interesting power set and really useful with combat. And three, like because psionic get it because it oh. has i in the I, middle I get, of I the get. word <sighs> please don't for the love of god don't leave working off of the beholder inspiration <laughs> i puffed him up into an orb shape and we get the joke was bad but it's not that bad from the beginning, Please. I knew I didn't want to just cover him in eyes again. It's not a bad <laughs> design, but I didn't want to do it. So the psionic eyes that he generates are Ooh. made inside of his skull and are dispensed out of his mouth. Now, the eye Creepy. bulbs on his back are actually based on those old squeezy bead toys. Plus the fact that oh, opticoids okay. are primarily made of cartilage and have kind of gelatinous bodies. That, that still makes sense with it being kind of stretchy and gross looking. So to recap, as far as his new abilities, he now has remote control control psionic eyes that can shoot Ooh. energy, and let's just say they can explode too. Why not? not as bad. far as trade-offs, again, it's bye-bye legs. Because, yes, he does still have legs, but because he levitates and doesn't walk and is gigantic now, there is no way they can support his weight. Other than that, may I present oh, my like ultimate eye guy I call Psykick. Ultimate eye guy! No, that's actually not Whoa, too bad. Check me out. I'm not just big. I'm way big. Oh yeah, here we go. For today's final ultimate, we will be not only redesigning, but reconceptualizing one of the 
biggest <laughs> letdowns of all of the ultimates. Now, don't Vegas get me wrong. I love Wei Big's design. I know Wei Big is supposed to be based on Ultraman, right and his ultimate is meant to resemble another version of Ultraman. I get it. I'm just really not a fan of the execution of it, though. I wanted to try to use another to Ultraman say. form as inspiration for his design, Ooh. but from looking through them, I, I just I couldn't find anything that was really clicking in my brain. So instead, I looked over at another Japanese giant fighting alien series that I think has a really cool creature Power aesthetic, Angels? Evangelion. With oh, my oh, ultimate, okay, I took okay, a lot of go. inspiration for the angels from that series. They all have kind of like creepy, giant, looming bodies, and what seems like unfeeling expressions. And I really wanted to try to express that with way big. So I I'm imagine his ultimate, like, leagues upon leagues, more powerful and scary. And like the original ultimate way big, mine is larger <laughs> than the base <laughs> form way big, oh, but shit. I'm talking like the size of a planet larger. To play into the lore bits that Taku Holy stars crap. are born from cosmic storms, I wanted to make his physical body more akin to the same physical properties of a cosmic storm. And due to that anatomical fact, he is actually able to alter his size and density. He can either shed off storm awesome. to get smaller or generate more storm to get larger, which is what all the wispy bits around his legs are. And also, I wanted to give him some of that really cool cosmic lightning. Also, kind of Hell a weird yes. trade-off thing I wanted to give him. He's just big and makes grunts and, and growl sounds. Other than mm. that, may I introduce no my interpretation of an ultimate up. way big I call vast mass <laughs> okay. I love it okay. oh, thank oh. you before anything before anything hold on this is like some kind of final boss creature you would either see in like a fantasy game some sci-fi game or some nautica game Imagine trying to fight this thing. It is, it would be impossible, but that's how good it is. It is final boss energy levels. It's perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of the ultimates I cooked up today in the comments down below. Also Ash, make sure to check amazing. out our links in the description. We've got our Patreon, Twitch channel, our comic five years later, as well as my socials where you can see stuff like the Albedo edits of the ultimates we made today being posted just probably sometime later joke, today as joke. long as I'm not in Disney World. Pretty soon we're going to be dropping a new episode of Ambion covering Ledger Domain. And Can't with the spooky season coming up, we'll be evolving some inner aliens pretty soon. So oh, make sure yes. you join our Patreon. So you can get weekly updates on all of those things, as well as some of our other project and an almost two year backlog of behind the scenes content. And it's all only nice. a dollar a month. You ain't losing nothing, it's a dollar. Please help support us so we can make more content like this. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I am Owen. And that's where we're going to end off today's episode. So, I want you all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video, so remember to support the original creator and all they do. And I'll see all of you folks next time. Peace out.